Hey everyone, Dulce here and you're watching Candy's Garden. So, uh, some of you may know uh, what this trowel means, but if you don't, it is hashtag TCB, time to take care of business, so let's get started. So yes, Miss Lily at Angel Loves Garden passed this trowel on to me. But before I take care of my business, let's pass this on to Cicely Cottle, Simply Bloom, and Tuxen Urban Gardening. Let's see how you take care of business in your garden. Now, I could share with you what I definitely need to do, but sometimes the TCB is just admiring what we've got growing in our garden. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you what I've got going on in my garden along with acknowledging the ones that make it all possible like. So these are what are known to be black soldier fly larvae, harmless, and I want to give a big thank you to the millions of these guys to help break down my compost. Thank you, black soldier fly larvae. I couldn't do it without you. So without further ado, let's take a look. All right, so before I take you into my actual garden, here's an acorn squash plant that's growing in here. Um, it is from a dried up acorn squash that my son um, decided he wanted to crack. I was just going to leave it as decoration, but it's from my last year's harvest. It was dried out and I told him he could plant the seeds in this little area. Well, um, just one of the seeds really did make it and as you can see, it's doing really lovely. And I finally, y'all, finally, finally have one acorn squash. Now my question is, to all you knowledgeable uh, gardeners, um, when is this ready to be harvested? Please uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I want to know. So here are some Pekin pepper plants that I did not have to start from seed because the birds already did that for me. Thank you birds. So here are some baby mango seeds that I started a totally different way and I'm hoping something comes up these ones right here are some mulberry trees that I started from seed all doing really well I have three mulberry trees that I took cuttings from my established mulberry tree they're doing good I have a cherry tomato uh, plant two in there my wish tomato plant these are my tamarillo trees that i started from seed i do desperately need to get on the ball with transplanting these into bigger pots or containers here's my holy basil she's doing so good and my other basil varieties they're also doing really well and i'll um tell you uh, the varieties on a different video so since my lemongrass did not make it through the winter pandemic i purchased another one from walmart she's doing really well so far I'm just debating on whether to put her in a bigger container or is it possible that she will survive in my garden in ground. If you have any advice on lemongrass, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm debating on what I need to do to keep her alive and healthy and happy. Let me know. And here is Kit Kat who loves to keep me company in my garden. So here are some other things that I've been working on. Let's take a closer look. So here's the cutting of my established blackberry bush. And she's doing okay. 
I've got some papaya trees started right here and the label that the fruit had on them in the grocery store said that they were from Brazil. These are the smaller types of papayas and I found that they are a lot sweeter so I like them compared to the larger type of papayas that you normally find at the grocery store. Over here I got some Pasilla pepper plants that I need to plant in my garden already. I have many trees that I need to up pot so I can either keep them or sell them. Over here I have some kumquat, some Meyer lemon, some mandarin quat, these are the mandarin quats that I shared how to grow. Some Meyer lemon over here. And some Meyer lemon as well as pink lemon trees. Over here I got some Pekin pepper plants growing. As well as Serrano. And my chili arbol did not come up. Over here is a crepe myrtle seedling. And some more Pekin. So here we are by my massive fig tree. She has blessed me in so many ways, more than I can imagine, y'all. All right? But there are things that I definitely need to take care of in here. I just spotted two. So here is one problem. These ones are just eyeballing me. You see that, y'all? But that's not the main problem. Um, let me take you where I can try to get a good look. Right there, y'all. This is the second biggest wasp nest that we found around here y'all I'm gonna insert a picture of the first one but yeah we definitely need to take care of business in here now will I be trying to take care of that business heck no I'm going to leave that up to my husband but what I will be doing is harvesting what I can without trying to get stung around here so um, what I'm going to do is cut the camera off because this is like a sort of life or death situation if you get what I mean and show you the harvest afterwards. Looks like somebody wants to help me harvest figs. So this is what I got so far. There is more like um, this one that I want to get but um, these little guys are just way too close for comfort so and uh, what I love about the fig tree is it's very flexible I could climb up it oh and there's this little bitty birdie somewhere right there it's a little mockingbird y'all I don't know if you can see oh yeah you see him yeah he's one of the culprits that like to um, eat at the figs as well. A little bitty mockingbird over there. But what I was trying to say is that I love climbing up this tree when uh, we don't have pests like that one right there. And there are little bitty ants, if you can see, in this tree. You know, pros and cons to a fig tree. You get lots to harvest, but are also fighting with nature to get to the good stuff. All right, y'all. So, look what I just stumbled upon as I'm trying to take my figs up to my backyard porch. A ton of bees are flying around and that is unusual 
I do not mind the bees pollinating my plants and whatnot, but, um, and also, um, you know, I'm not fearful of them, so they have no reason to sting me, and they're just flying around. So, um, anyways, um, this is a bit of a concern, because they have been going in and out of that crevice right there, and I think... I'm going to have to take care of business in a different way. I've always wanted um, some honeybees around here, but um, in the right containment, not in my house. But of course, this is for a different episode. So here y'all go, y'all. This is my little mini palette garden. Before I take you into here, let's go ahead and take a look right here. This is the pecan tree that I grew from seed. Don't ask me how I did it because I totally do not remember. But that's my pecan tree. Here's some cactus. Of course, we like to eat cactus. And this group right here is the Wish App. Um, lemon cucumber and these are my wild lemon cucumber the reason why I say wild it's because I found the little bitty um, cucumbers or melons they tasted sort of like melons but they look like lemon cucumber they were down by the river and um yeah i harvested the seeds and yeah now i got this massive vine growing along with my mulberry tree that we found out was a mulberry tree i thought it was just vine but yeah it's a tree and um she's encapsulated by all the vines not sure if that'll harm her but yeah, I got some mulberry trees growing, so I'm okay if I have to sacrifice this one. Anywho, um, there is a lot of these wild lemon cucumbers or melons. That one has the little stink bug on it. Yeah, that I need to get rid of. But yeah, right here, I believe in this all this jungle, if you can see, there you go. It has a lot of those fruits, but that's not ready. The ready fruit will be like a lemon cucumber. And this one, the Wish app, uh, lemon cucumber is finally bearing fruit. If you could see right here at the top, there you go. Uh, it's finally bearing some fruit but I really doubt it's a lemon cucumber because it sort of looks like a potato cucumber but time will only know and I will share that update on a later video over here I've got some pepper plants growing as well as my strawberries that I do not do really well on. I had set them out in the sun and yeah, some of them fried. But here are the purple jalapenos that are more like ornamental pepper plants. And I put them in the shade because I think the sun was uh, getting too hot for them. But over here, I did start these three back here right there from seed these are my yellow bell pepper plants I got my reds and my orange back here now I'm not sure if it's because of the heat Miss Lily said that the heat could cause this but some of the blooms have fallen off and I have yet to um, get some peppers out of them but this one right here, I did buy these pepper plants uh, recently. Uh, this one says it's a, if I can get around here, 
it's a jalapeno pepper. Yeah, and then whenever I did harvest a few, they were not very cool. They smelled like a jalapeno and uh, were hot like a jalapeno. Yeah, that was not fun. Anyways, these other ones right here are the... I can't get it to tell you, but it is a lunchbox red and they are not a spicy pepper. So I just want to give a big thank you to Kit Kat for keeping me company in my garden. She is my garden guardian, y'all. Hey. <laughs> Over here, I started these girls from seed from my last year's harvest. They are my lunchbox orange peppers. They're doing really well. I just have yet to um, get any peppers from them, but they are budding just like my other pepper plants. Right here is my blueberry bush that I will be uh, sharing a video on later, but that's how she's looking like so far. And right here is, if I can remember, or maybe not. Okay, yeah, it's the purple bell sweet pepper and she's doing good i've only got one pepper from her but she has more buds so let's go ahead and start with over here i forgot oh, whose idea was it to put plants in boots but i uh, copied their idea and these were my marigolds i'll tell you right now that um i i've done this idea in the front and with Texas heat, I think the only uh, plants that can really truly survive in a pair of boots are um, cactus. And so that's what I have in front. Um, but these are marigolds and if you don't keep on watering them in the boot, yeah, because the boot doesn't really retain water. But yeah, it's a nice idea though. And here's some piquant pepper plants with a myrtle tree that I have no idea how it got there, but they're all doing really well. Here is my, excuse the plane up ahead. Here is my chia plants that I grew from seed. They are really tall. I wanted to grow them so I could be able to harvest and eat them, but to me, in my opinion, the only way I can truly eat these is with ranch because they do have an acquired taste. So over here, I got some more marigolds with a hidden basil plant that sprung up along with any other basil plant in here. It's just from last year's um, seeds that dropped. But I have a few cantaloupe Vines growing up right here. No cantaloupe just yet. Hopefully soon. I got some onions growing in here and all that mess right there. Here's the moringa trees that I started from seed off the Wish app. And I've got some shishito pepper plants right here that I started from seed from my last year's harvest. Right here is a couple Jimmy Nardeo sweet peppers right there and I can harvest those right now. They look really good. I got some kale that um, the worms and caterpillars haven't yet um, gotten into, which is good. Another basil plant. Over here are a few pekins growing right there. I have some jalapeno pepper plants right here that I did buy from um, the store because I could not get my jalapeno seeds to sprout. Right here are more onions. 
I've got my lemon tree growing as well as grapefruit tree and a apple tree growing that I grew from seed and another grapefruit tree and a Meyer lemon tree over there. I do need a weed out this section as well as that area over there but I did weed this area right there those two little areas right there I'll get to that in a minute but right here yes that's what I gotta do um, I got some Florida tomato plants growing right there as well as a Jimmy Nardillo sweet pepper plant right there growing and another Jimmy Nardeo sweet pepper, Floridade tomato plant. And this is my first Wish App white tomato plant growing right there that we all know is not a white tomato plant. So right here is another pecan tree growing. I did not start this one from seed. You know how you go to the park and um, there are hidden gems. This was a tiny little bitty pecan tree and I just pulled her up from the root. Shh, don't tell nobody. And she's doing really good over here, y'all. I've got some sugar cane growing, y'all. Sugar cane. Yeah, it's doing really good. And I started this uh, from the store-bought sugar cane. Maybe one day I can share how to grow this. I got some um, Pasilla pepper plants right here. And these tomato plants in this bed are from the Dollar Tree, the Marion tomato plants. I haven't had any yet, but here's my Pasilla pepper that I could harvest. Um, this is where the lemongrass ended up dying from the winter pandemic. This little bitty bush right there is my lemon bomb. She's doing really well. I just need to cut her back. Another Marion tomato plant. And I put down some more um, cilantro seeds right here. Hopefully, without the starter, they'll still come up. I'm hoping. Um, here's another Marion tomato plant. And buy it which is weird um i didn't put any cucumber seeds down or plant it at this time and one started growing for some reason i did harvest one last week which was really good but as you can see back there we've got another um cucumber growing I figured I needed to harvest the other one because these other little baby cucumbers, they weren't doing so well until I harvested the one I did last week. I've got another one right here, y'all. I got another Marion tomato plant right there. And here's a Floridade tomato plant growing that I've harvested some tomatoes from already it's kind of going out of whack so weird but she's doing really well I got some tomatoes that I need to harvest within the bushes yeah and um, I have some cilantro going with her that are just turning to seed let's take you over here the um, wish app white tomato plant and oh a critter a critter with the wasp let's take a look y'all how neat is that Taking care of its business, y'all. All right, let's get out of here. All right, I got some um, avocado trees growing there that I need to uh, pot up. I got a crispy looking sunflower that I need to pull up. I had three 
sunflower plants growing right here. One right here I pulled up already before I could support them. She cracked in half and I had to pull her up. And the other two, this one is left behind, but her sister had a beautiful flower as well as she did. I just need to clean up her remnants. But um, right here is a new pepper plant that I bought from the store and is looking really good. It's called a Havasu. It's a hot pepper. To me, it's more mild or medium heat. But I love this. If you're not big a fan of the heat, this is pretty good. I mean, it might be too hot for some but i love a little spice so it gives me enough spice um this is um i decided to purchase and grow my first cherry tomatoes this year this is the sweet 100s and she's looking real good and over here is my little bitty trees that i mentioned earlier and so this is a new um, new pepper plants that I bought also. This one is called Gypsy. Now I'm not really even sure if this is hot or not, but we shall see. Here's the California Wonder pepper plants that I purchased this year. And this is my cabbage that I went ahead and let the worms chomp on because I was afraid that if I pulled these up they'd be trying to chomp on something else so I allowed them to chomp on this it looks like they've cleared the area but who knows I'm happy with them eating at this and nothing else but here's another basil plant and yeah there you go well, I sure hope you all enjoyed this, but I can't wait to see how the others take care of business in their garden. I am so glad to pass that on to them. Love God because he loves you, and y'all have a nice day now. Y'all here? Bye.